Hi, I'm Dylan Van Avery, Senior Innovation Manager for Mortensen Construction, and I'm out in sunny Menlo Park, California, getting to check out a very unique and innovative project that we're building here on behalf of a customer of ours, Citizen M. This project that we're about to go take a look at is completely different than your traditional project in that it is erected in a fully volumetric box style building. Each of these units has been manufactured somewhere else, arrives here, and then we pick them up with a massive crane and set them like giant Legos. So we're here on site with Senior Superintendent Nick Fenning, who offered to walk us through the overall process. What does it look like? Like, can you walk me through the steps at the factory that results in a box showing up on a truck today? So, starts just like any other typical build. We build the structure first. So, um, CIMC, our fabricator, basically they build shipping containers. So we build the framework of the container. It all gets fully welded together. We do the corrugated siding around the perimeter of the unit, and then we start the interior fit out. We frame the walls, we do the rough in. They have their own series of inspections that they've got to get through and basically pre-test everything in the unit. Uh, and then we also took it to the next level on this project by doing owner punch list, where they walk through every room and punch list it to set the expectation for how we need to fab all the rest of the units. Once so all the fab is done, once the fit out's done, we've cleared the punch list items. So we put Tyvek over the windows, we put a shipping brace on the outside of the units, and then they get loaded up on a barge. That barge goes from the fabrication facility to a larger ship, to an ocean liner, and then they get offloaded from the barge to the ocean liner, and then they make their way across the ocean. So it's four weeks on the water, and then they show up at our doorstep um, after we do our transit damage inspection. I gotta think that's, that's a little complicated in itself. What's a typical size of one of these things, and what does it weigh? So we've got typical module ranges anywhere right around 40,000 pounds. And then we're upwards of 54,000 pounds on some of the heavier units. And then we've also got 8,000 pounds of rigging on the hook. So we're pushing 60,000 plus on, uh, on some of our heavier picks. How many modules represent this project? So there's 161 modules that comprise 240 guest rooms with ancillary units. We've got nine uh, rooftop units that we're actually prefabricating on site here. So we built the empty box. We've got them sitting up on the North 40, getting fit out so that they're ready to be erected when we're ready in erection sequence. What's the overall duration of this? Like how long does it take you to go from box one to the last box? Right now in the schedule, we've got three months. There is contingency time built in for weather. We've pushed our start of modular erection right into the rainy season in California. So we do have a couple days of weather built in there, but the overall duration is uh, three months from start to finish for 161 units. So if you think that's where the magic happens, this is really where the magic happens. This is our single MEP riser shaft. This is where all the mechanical, plumbing, Everything that feeds this room is housed in this tiny 21 by 20 shaft. When it gets on site, we make all the connections and this is really what powers and, and is the heart and soul of the actual room firing everything up. Uh, what other sort of opportunities or wins have you seen in this type of build? The other big advantage is obvious is the cost um, savings. I mean, just like any other prefabbed element, we're, we're able to recognize um, all that comes along with prefab. So the repeatability, um, there's obviously efficiencies in doing things on the ground versus doing things at height, and then just the uh, condition environment, right? We're able to build out a unit that we don't have to worry about rain. We don't have to worry about temporary enclosure. We can fit it out, we can get it fully buttoned up, uh, and then bring it to the site and, and install it where it's, it's been built in a conditioned environment. I just want to thank you for all the time. This is Appreciate you coming an out. incredibly impressive build. Thanks again for having us on site. Yeah, I do want to give a lot of credit to the team. I obviously can't do any of this without them. Not only the design team, our trade partners, but just our Mortensen team working across the different time zones, making everything possible. So big shout out to everybody involved with this. One more question for you. 
I live in Minnesota, and it's getting cold there, and I feel like you know a guy that knows a guy that could get me one of these in my backyard. What's it going to take? $58,000. Can I write you a check? And an ocean liner. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, man. Thanks again. Well, thank you so much for joining us today here in Menlo Park, California at the Citizen M Project. I got to hand it to them and tip my hat to the project team out here and all the craftspeople that are working on this project, really pushing the envelope and, dare I say, inspiring what's possible. This type of build is completely unique to our industry, obviously, and I, I think to myself, what's the future hold for construction when we start pushing the envelope like this? I also wonder, what do you think? So scroll down to the bottom of the page, add some comments. Let me know what you think about this type of build, and it certainly wouldn't hurt my feelings if you hit that like button as well. So I'm Dylan Van Avery, Innovation Manager with Mortensen. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time.